In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. In today's episode, I'm going to be buying one of the best businesses in the entire game and one of the best vehicles in the entire game, and in order to do so, I made 8.7 million dollars. Now I made this money over the past couple days, I did a handful of Kyo Preco heists, I did a couple Acid Lab cell missions, and collected money from my nightclub wall safe. And now we're at the total of 8.7 million, so let's first go into the Maze Bank Foreclosures website and we're going to pick up the business first, and that is going to be the hangar. This is one of the only businesses that we have left. There are a couple locations down here at the LSIA airport, but they aren't great. Even though they are cheaper, they are not good, and I'll show you guys why in this video. The best are going to be one of the three locations here in Fort Sancudo, but I am going to go with the cheapest one as I don't have that much money. Now, for aesthetic, it doesn't matter. Lighting doesn't matter. Floor graphics, who cares? Office furniture does not matter. I am going to get living quarters, so I can set it as a spawn location, and I'm going to get the vehicle workshop, which might be a little bit of foreshadowing as to what vehicle I am purchasing today. There you go, 3.47 million. It's time to welcome the hangar to our fleet of businesses. There you go, we're gonna head over to it. I'm gonna explain how the business works and start making some money with it today. And here we are at the hangar. As you can see, it is massive and this business provides two great things for us. First off, it's actually a great way to make money, which I'll show you how very quickly. But number two, is you're able to store all of your planes and what other military vehicles you want in here. And so that means you're then able to add weapons to them, you're able to change the color, all the customizations of them. It is very handy for that. So we are going to first check out how to make money with the business, and then we're going to get into purchasing one of the best vehicles in the entire game. But first, I'm going to have to set up the business, so let's do this mission quickly, get back, and then we could talk about the money. Okay, all we have to do is bring this plane back to the hangar, and we are good. The business is now set up. So the way this business works is very similar to special cargo. We have to do missions where we go out, steal cargo crates, bring them back, and then we could sell them for a profit. And as you can see, there are eight different types of cargo that we could steal and sell. Now at base, we could sell them for $30,000 a piece. And because we pay nothing for the actual source mission, we are making $30,000 profit. But as you can see here, depending on the amount of each type of product we have, we can actually get a bonus on the sell mission. And that bonus could go all the way up to 70% for medical supplies, for chemicals, and for narcotics. So those are always going to be the best ones to source and to go for. But there is a very specific way to run the business because each source mission does have a cooldown, just like special cargo. So what you're going to want to do is pick two of the best goods and you're going to want to source them back to back to back. That way you skip the cooldown and you're going to get to the max payout once you've filled up your hangar all the way. Now there is a capacity or a max capacity of 50 crates in the hangar, but the best way to run it is to source chemicals and narcotics back to back to back until you have 25 of each. You could then sell them with a 35% bonus and make many millions. But today we do not have enough time for that. We're instead going to source counterfeit goods and tobacco. And the reason for that is we're only going to have enough time to do 10 source missions, which would leave us with five crates of each. And as you can see here on that screenshot, they're going to give a 5% bonus, whereas the other goods would give us nothing. Now, when it comes to doing the actual source mission itself, we have a choice between doing air missions and land missions. Land missions were added last year as an update, and they are by far the easiest way to complete the sourcing missions for the hangar, so I'd always suggest doing it. But in order to do the land source missions very efficiently, there is one vehicle that will really help us out. And that is the vehicle we are buying today, which is going to be on sale, and it is the F-160 Raiju. This is a crazy fighter jet. You could have missiles on it, machine guns. It is by far the fastest, or not by far, but it is the fastest vehicle in the entire game, hands down. There are so many cool features of it, and I'm going to buy it today for its discounted price of 4.798 million. This is one of the vehicles we need to buy in order to complete the GT Online checklist, and currently we are buying it at about a two and a half, three million dollar discount. So there you go, it is bought, and it will of course be stored here in the hangar, where we could customize it 
and get it ready for the source missions. Now, as I wait for the Raiju to be delivered, I want to show you guys over here, you could go up to Rooster Macraw and you could pay him to source you cargo for you. Now he is going to source a random type of cargo, so it isn't great if you're trying to hit certain cargo bonuses, but it is an easy way to make some passive income. But as you can see over here, we have the Raiju, it has arrived. We'll hop into it and we will customize it here in the hangar. So as you can see, we could upgrade the armor here all the way up to 100% for 50 grand. We have the engine as well that will increase the speed, handling as well, which would be very helpful, delivery, the respray, and then we could sell. So the vehicle actually comes with machine guns and homing missiles, but we're going to want to get an engine upgrade for sure. And we're also going to want to get an armor upgrade and the handling upgrade this will make this vehicle insane and the final thing i'm going to do is make lava red the primary paint there you go now let's hop out of here and i'm going to show you guys just how crazy this fighter jet is so the first thing to point out is that the jet actually has two different flying modes it has a VTOL mode as you can see here where the engine is pointed down it allows us to do vertical takeoff and landing which is very helpful for getting around the city or around the map and landing in awkward situations and then if I hold in on my left joystick, it changes to a regular flying mode. And then we could just retract the wheels there. And now we have the fastest vehicle in the game. Now it doesn't feel like it's going too fast, but if we were to go closer to the ground here, you will realize just how quick this plane is going. So you can see here, this thing is quick. And as you saw there, it is extremely agile. We could make bank turns really easily. We could do full 360s if we want. I'm going to I'm going to make us a little bit nauseous there with that one, but this vehicle is crazy. The other cool thing about it is you could press right on the D-pad and it will turn it into stealth mode. You can see on the bottom left on the mini map that our player cursor is actually flashing. That shows that we are currently in stealth mode and what that does is it takes us off the radar from other people, from other players, whatever it may be, while in a session, which is crazy. So, you essentially can go stealth for as long as you want until you disable stealth mode and then you'll be back on the map. The only slight downside of stealth mode is as you can see, when we turn it on, you can't use weapons. So that is a slight downside, but regardless, if you're someone who's playing a lot in online sessions, this would be a great feature for you. Now, as for weapons, we have the base machine guns. We also have missiles, homing and non-homing, but the explosive MGs are crazy. And you're gonna see the power here, as we go down close to the highway, you could see just how, oh wow, <laughs> that was brutal. We'll take the, we'll take the ride you over here. Okay, well, shit. Anyways, I'm gonna show off the machine guns during the source missions, but as you could see, the missiles are fairly decent and considering you could essentially hover around for as long as you want and then hop out of VTOL mode and fly away, just makes this vehicle one of the best in the entire game, at least in my opinion. So. We have crazy agility, crazy weapons. Let's now use it for our sourcing missions. So as I said before, we're only going to be sourcing tobacco and counterfeit goods for this episode. But in the future, if I want to make the most amount of money possible, I would source between narcotics and chemicals. So we're going to head over to tobacco. We're going to do a land source mission and we're going to use our Raiju. Now, when doing these missions, if you see, go to El Burro Heights, go to Polito Bay or go to the Alamo Sea load into a new invite only session, skip that one. Those three are horrible to do, but if we can see go to Sandy Shores, that is a decent mission. So when we get to Sandy Shores, we're gonna be redirected to a crash site, which can be in one of three different places. And luckily for us here, it's actually going to be at the Sandy Shores airfield. So there's going to be a crate or a package we have to pick up. It is shining. We could see it's right there in front of those two vehicles. We're gonna to have to find a way to sneak in here without getting noticed, pick up the crate, and then bring it back to the hangar. I think I'm just gonna take out these guys here. That's gonna be the fastest way to go about it. I have to try to find, there you go, got the crate. Now I gotta hop back in the Raiju and get out of here. And there you go, that is the mission done. That is how easy these land missions are when you have something like the Raiju. Now you could use something like the Sparrow as well, but I find the Raiju, because it is so fast, will make the missions, especially when you have to go into the city so much faster. And as you can see, there was a one and a half minute cooldown. So to bypass the cooldown, we're gonna go to counterfeit goods, do another land mission and rinse and repeat until we have five of each. I also make sure to park my Raiju right next to the hangar when completing a mission. 
That way when I start up the next one, I could just hop out the hangar, it's right there and take off. So luckily we got the exact same mission here and it is in the exact same location as last time. So once again, I'm going to survey the area and see where the crate is. I could see it glowing in the field just over here. So I'm actually going to drop down the Raiju right next to it. I'm not going to worry about going in stealth. And that was it. Now all I have to do is lose the cops, bring it back to the hangar, and we're good to go. And that is mission number two done. It is simply that easy. Okay, so we once again got the mission where you have to go to Sandy Shores Airfield. But as you can see, the crash site is not here. So there's going to be one of two different locations that it can be at. Now an easy way to pick out where it is, is going to be looking for a helicopter. In the distance, of course, we could sort of see the flashing lights there. That's where it is. So here is the second location. The third location is on the other side of the Alamo Sea, but we got lucky heading to the right location this time. So we're once again going to look for where the package is, pick it up, and then bring it back to the hangar. Now, sometimes I could just drop down and pick it up. There you go. We got it luckily this time. Oftentimes I find it's too hard to do that, but we got it. That's even easier than the last two times. Now we can bring it back to the hangar. And there you go, that is mission number three done. Okay, so we finally got a new mission. It's the one that says infiltrate the deal. We first have to head over to this location here, and there is going to be a red trailer somewhere there. So you can see that right down there. It's going to be surrounded by a bunch of enemies, of course, and I'm going to destroy it with the Raiju's explosive MGs. And when you destroy it, the goods will drop. We just picked them up there all in one motion or in one action and we could now fly back to the hangar that mission is simply that easy now there are two, three different locations it could be at one of the locations is down at the bottom of the map that one is a little bit more tricky to navigate but overall it is the same process for each one fly there destroy the red trailer pick up the cargo and then bring it back okay so we once again got another type of mission if you see go to richmond or go to la meza it's going to be the same kind of mission so we're going to end up here at a location where there is a garage and the crates are going to be inside the garage. So all we, all we have to do is drop down here. I'm going to land the Raiju there. I don't want to be spotted by that security camera, but instead I'm going to run around to the side of the building. Somewhere around the building, you'll see this white box. All you have to do is shoot at it, destroy it. We could then enter the garage, take the goods and then leave. Now there will be a bunch of enemies chasing us, so be careful. But if we run in here, there you go. It is right there. Okay. Uh, can we pick it up, please? There you go. Okay, we got it. Now we could hop back in and fly back to the hangar. And you could see using VTOL mode is such a game changer in situations like that. It makes things so much easier. Okay, so for this mission, I got the La Miza location. And like I said, this is going to be just like the other mission that we just did. But this one's a little bit tricky. The white box that we have to shoot out will be right next to... Are up there on top so I just shot it out it'll either be on the right side or the left side now that that has been shot we can head inside grab the cargo and then bring it back to the hangar okay so I finally have five of tobacco and five of counterfeit good crates I didn't show the last couple source missions because they were the same as before so they were nothing new but as you can see now that we have five we get a five percent sale bonus now as I said earlier each crate by itself with no bonus is $30,000. You could see that here with chemicals and here with animal materials. So with five crates, we should only be able to sell it for 150 k But as you could see with that bonus, we get 157.5 for each. But an important thing to note is that you can't get the bonus if you do sell all cargo. You have to sell these individually. So we have two different sell missions to do. I'm going to do them both in a private lobby most likely maybe i'll do a public lobby for the second one but as you can see we have the choice of air or land once again go with land they are much easier so we're going to get into it these of course or this business of course is subject to the 50 percent high demand bonus if you do it in a public lobby with 25 or more people so keep that in mind if you want to make some extra money you could do that but for the first one here we're going to do it in a private lobby and we have <laughs> One of the harder missions to complete, or it's not hard, but one of the more tedious ones. We have five different locations to drop off the goods at. Okay, we're here at the first drop off. There you go. Now we head over to the next one. There is delivery number two. Here's drop off number three. Here's the fourth drop off. And here is the final drop off. Now all we have to do is leave the area and we're going to get our money. And there you go. $153,000 after the cut. 
Not too bad. Now we're going to do the next cell mission, but I'm going to try it in a public lobby with 25 or more people. Hopefully we don't get griefed. All right, so we're here in the public session. And once again, we have the exact same mission, which is very interesting. Although hopefully, or yeah, it looks like it. All of our drop offs are going to be up here at the north of, of the map, which is actually a good thing because almost everybody is down here at the city. OK, this is the delivery number one done. This here is delivery two complete. Here we have delivery three. So far, so good. We don't have to worry too much or we haven't had to worry too much about anybody, but we also have to worry about these choppers that are now on us. This is delivery four. And here we are at the fifth and final drop off. There you go. Now we're going to drive away and our new total should be around the 200 and something thousand dollar mark because we have the 50 percent high demand bonus there you go two hundred and thirty thousand dollars that is amazing so in the roughly hour and 15 minutes that it took for us to get all 10 of those uh, crates and to sell both lots we made quick maths in my head 385 roughly thousand dollars which isn't bad whatsoever it's nothing great but you could see how with just the two worst goods out of all of them, we made decent money. And if you were to go and only source narcotics and I believe chemicals, which are the two highest paying, you get 25 of each and then sell them with the 35% sale bonus for each. You would be making a couple million dollars and because it would only take you about two and a half hours to source it all, you'd be making 700 to $750,000 roughly per hour as a solo player. So the business is incredible, but of course the other huge purchase from today's episode was the Raiju. Now I'm recording this Wednesday and it just came out on Twitter that the bunker will be double money next week. So. I'm going to head over to it now. We're going to resupply the bunker and then I'm going to show off a couple more things about the Raiju that I love before we end off the episode. All right, I'm now here on the beach with the Raiju and I just want to share with you a couple more things or reiterate a couple more points as to why this is such a good vehicle in game. So first off, we just saw the vertical takeoff and landing is so, so good and so crucial for a vehicle like this because I don't believe there's many other, if any other, fighter jets of this caliber in the game that have that VTOL of vertical takeoff and landing. The only other vehicles that are going to be better or faster and better at maneuvering around the map are going to be things like the Oppressor Mark II or the original Oppressor, stuff like that. But when it comes to transportation, getting around and from making money with the hangar, this is by far the best vehicle to get. So the other thing I want to point out is just how good the reaction time is with this vehicle how agile it actually is you can see here we're flying in and out of buildings i'm going to make that turn make a bank again that might have been a headache to watch but you could see just how good this vehicle really is you can fly regularly you could fly upside down really easily go halfway bank it is just so responsive and it's by far one of the best vehicles and most fun vehicles to have in the entire game and then of course on top of that the weapons as well are incredible so overall i'm very happy that i was able to pick up the raiju for such a good discount it was 30 percent off at the time of this video being uploaded the discount will be over but if you guys are thinking about buying a fighter jet i'd still buy it at the regular price it is 100 worth it and then of course i'm glad that we picked up the hangar which if you run it the right way is one of the best businesses in the entire game but that is all for today we got two things checked off the gta online checklist i hope you guys did enjoy if you did push up a like if you're a new subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace